my Christmas tree is ready and we can start this video. I really like 3D printing and my mom, since I got the first 3D printer, all of the time asked me to 3D print something. One of her idea was to 3D print a cookie cutter for Christmas to make some nice cookies. And I made one and I really like the idea of it. So it was last year, last Christmas, I made three cookie cutters but didn't post them online because I just... I, I don't know. And this year I thought I will make a video about those cookie cutters to show you how I made them, how you can make one yourself and how awesome they are. To make those cookie cutters we will need basically a 3D printer, some filament and of course the knowledge of how to make cookies. I don't know how to make cookies so I will just use Google to help me. Because I am impatient and I want to have my cookie cutters as fast as possible, I am printing them at all of my printers at once. Each of them takes about one hour to print, I have three 3D printers and three cookie cutters so I can print them, all of them, in about one hour. So here we have CR10 which is printing a cane. Here is the CR10 Mini, it's printing a hat of a Santa Claus. And the last printer is hidden in a wardrobe. Here is the Christmas tree cookie cutter. Last year I also made some cookie cutters but I didn't post them anywhere online so here we have it. All of the cookie cutters are ready and you can take them off from the printers. Okay, so here we have our cookie cutters, let's take a closer look at them. Alright, so now I will show you how you can make your own cookie cutters based on the image, for example, found on the internet. So let's open Fusion 360, here we have our image. So let's choose for example this one. You can easily find them by typing what you want and choosing right there clip art. Don't forget to also choose the right license. We can simply save this on our drive and right now we can import our image to Fusion 360. We can do that by clicking insert on the top, choosing our image and selecting the plane that we want to put it on. So let's choose the bottom one. We can also scale it up a little bit to make the cutter a little bit bigger. That should be fine. When we have our image, we have to choose Spline tool from the sketch menu. Then choose the plane that we want to work on. So that's again the bottom plane. And right now we can easily just trace the line of the snowman. When lines are ready, we can create the outline to make a thin wall that our printer will be able to print. To do so we have to click on the line that we want to create the outline of and click the O. Because in my printer I have 0.4mm nozzle, I will put right there 0.8mm, that will be the 2 parameters, so the double of the nozzle size. And then we have to do the same for all of the other lines. Now we have to extrude the wall. To do so we have to click right there and on the all of the other parts of the wall and click E on the keyboard. Then let's say we can extrude it to 50 millimeters. Oh, I missed one, so we can click that with shift. 
So now we have to extrude the, all of the other parts on this sketch. So let's click all of them. And then we can extrude them to 14.2 millimeters. Because there will be a difference between the wall that will cut the cookie and the parts like the eyes, nose and mouth. This will be only embossed, not cut. We can disable the canva to make it more visible for us. That looks pretty nice for me. There's only one problem right now. As you can see, the eyes, nose and mouth are separate from the object. So if you want to print it like that, those parts will just fall apart. We have to somehow connect it with the main shape. So now I will just draw a few lines to connect those elements with main shape. We almost done. The last thing that we have to do is to connect all of the separate bodies into one body. To do it, we have to click modify, combine, right there, join should be selected. Then we have to select all of the components and click OK. Our snowman is ready for printing and for cookie cutting. OK, I am in the kitchen now and I have the list of things that I need to make those cookies and how to make them. Let me check it. Oh right, that's, I think that's too sophisticated for me, I completely cannot cook and there's no way I will make those cookies this way. So let's just go and buy some cake for the cookies. Okay, so here I have ready dough. We just have to roll it out and cut our cookies. Alright, so when the cake is ready, we can use our cookie cutters to cut some cookies. We have first perfect cookie. I have no more place for cookies right there. So let's put them into the oven. They should be ready. Let's check that. Our cookies are ready and it's time to test them or actually taste them. They are pretty good. Let's take a closer look at all of them before I eat them all. That's all for this video, I hope you like it, I hope you like my cookie cutters and you like my cookies. If so, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment and check out all of the links in the description. Thanks for watching, I wish you Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, bye!